Episode 408, For All Mankind Frustrates and Fascinates as it sets up its big climax. For All Mankind ramps up to a climax in Legacy. We have an in-between ER episode here, folks. Let's start on Mars, where Ed and Deb are putting into action their plan to reroute the Goldilocks asteroid into Mars orbit, even though it would be infinitely better for the billions of people who live on Earth for it to orbit that planet, thus making it easier to mine the sweet sweet iridium within. Last week I wrote about how Ed Baldwin has become the villain of For All Mankind, and although this episode doesn't underline that idea quite as much, the more I think about it, the more true it seems and the matter I get. Ed and Dev want to reroute the asteroid to Mars mainly because they don't want to return to Earth and deal with their emotional baggage. Like any coward who doesn't want to face their problems, they dress this up in self-flattery, telling themselves that they're among the few enlightened individuals who have the foresight to deprive the Earth of this needed resource. Looking to recruit people to help in their scheme, Ed and Dev seek out the few striking workers who didn't cross the picket line last week, and Dev has the gall to call them brave and principled while disparaging their co-workers as small-minded, that's what they get for daring to end the strike in exchange for more money and a nice life. When Miles is skeptical about joining the plot, reasoning that he will make a lot of money if he just stays the course and goes home, Dev tempts him by promising that, if he helps them, he won't just be a millionaire, he'll be a billionaire. And Miles falls for it, even though being a multi-millionaire is infinitely preferable to being a billionaire, you still have more money than you'll ever need and there isn't a target on your back. The way Dev mythologies his own selfishness and greed is maddening. But let's not forget to hate on Ed while we're hating on Dev. Ed's low point comes when he enlists his seven-year-old grandson Alex to shimmy through a narrow duct and collect an important part he and Deb need for their plan to work. Alex isn't hurt, but only by luck's grace. Can you believe Kelly flew with her son all the way to Mars just to leave him with her careless man-baby of a father? And Ed and Deb are doing all of this, I remind you, so they can force the people of Earth to develop a self-sustaining colony on Mars, even though it means that the billions of people back home won't get access to resources that could vastly improve their lives until much later than necessary. And they want a Mars colony, I remind you, because Ed is scared to be on the planet where his wife died and Dev has mommy issues. Both of these guys need to be shot out in airlock as soon as possible. And I've got my eye on you, too, Sam. Normally, I wouldn't be mad about this, TV shows are full of reprehensible people doing reprehensible things. What's getting under my skin here is that I can't quite tell if the show is endorsing this behavior or condemning it. Am I supposed to loathe them this much, or am I supposed to see Ed as a frontier hero and Dev as a daring genius? I suppose we'll get the final word in a couple of weeks. For All Mankind Review, Episode 408, Legacy. Meanwhile, Back on Earth where the sympathetic characters live, Margot's old flame Sergei sees that she's alive and back at NASA, and enlists Alata's help in contacting her. My favorite scene of the episode was Sergei explaining to Alata exactly what happened to him before Margot's defection, something Margot apparently hadn't told her. Alata doesn't know if she can forgive Margot, but you get the idea she wants to try. <laughs>